hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a game that I opened up, and it seriously just, like, started. <laughs> it was already going, and I'm sitting here trying to figure stuff out, and we are into it. So, this game, as you can see up top here, is called Pinkremental, um, and it is an incremental pinball game, from what I could tell. I seriously, I, I saw this a little while back that it was going to be coming out, and I, it seemed kind of exciting. See, we're getting points in the background, and I have no, like, it's not of my own volition. So you can use your points, and we'll see how we get them in a second, to buy upgrades to increase your income. 20% uh, increase. It, obviously, it's like any other incremental game. So, pinball. See in the background, like, pinball stuff is happening here? And we can, you know, do stuff like this, and obviously we don't get a choice there. But, our high score is 16, <laughs> which was of me doing nothing. And we got that high score while I was in the menu just there, I think. Oh, are we going to break it? Because I think we're going to break it. Oh. Come on now. It does slow down a little bit for you, which is kind of cute. But basically, as you can see, we're getting points. The multiplier is 4.2. Um, we're getting points as we go on here. And I believe it's over here that we can get this. So for 500, we can double our points. So we do have to get a little ways. Gosh, the ball's like almost sticky. That was really sus. It, it like literally it sticks to it. Oh, so we got an achievement there for hit the bumper 100 times or just hit any bumpers 100 times. It does seem like it's going to be kind of a slow start unless there's something I'm missing. Looks like maybe we can afford something because that showed up. Okay, so multiplies your point income by times percent of your current hit plus one, which is nice. So not your high score, but it'll increase as our hits go up. It looks like, yeah, watch. So see, it went from 4.2, now it's 5 point something. So if we can keep up good stuff like that, it'll increase as time goes on. So... Each hit, I believe, means it's worth 8.4 points, roughly. I would assume that's how it's working, is the hits are collating into the actual points. Um, I've never been great at pinball, especially given the fact that you have to, like, move your... You know, I don't get two hands here. i got to move my mouse and be quick about it. Now, I'm not sure if maybe there's a hot key that I can give these to hit them so I can hit them at the same time. But as you can see, we're at a really high thing here, so I want to keep it going. Currently, we're getting a crap ton of points. Oh, oh, we lost it. Anyways, we can now afford double points, <laughs> which is awesome. There's going to be some stuff in between there. Is there anything down here else that we can click on? Cash out your game tickets and start again. So maybe that's prestige. Looks like there's some other goofy stuff over here. Again, it's super simple. It is free on Steam. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you like these incremental games where you can just kind of hang out and, you know, do what you got to do, then yeah, that's awesome. Guys, uh, depending on how things look when this gets posted, we are almost to 100 subscribers, which it's such a small thing for most people who watch YouTube a lot, especially. They're like, oh my gosh, 100 subscribers. It, it almost, I feel kind of stupid saying it, but then at the same time, it feels like I'm almost being ungrateful for what I have, which is like 100 people <laughs> that actually are curious to see what I have to do next, which I've not had that before, right? I mean, it's not like in general life, you just have 100 people like, oh, what's he going to do next? It's just not a thing. So it is absolutely awesome. And I appreciate your guys' support. Every time you comment or like, or even just watch the video, you know, share it with your friends. If anyone's done that, it's super duper helpful. And it, it means the world to me truly, because I'd love to do this more and more as time goes on and if i have the excuse to do it like i said i will so being able to continue creating in the future is my goal looks like we can get i thought we could get oh so now it's two thousand to double our points and six thousand we'll be able to do it again does it double our current points or our multiplier does that start at eight it starts at 30 oh because our high score is 30 i see so I guess we'll have to see, because it almost looked like it doubled our current points, which is not great because you're spending them. I don't believe that would be the case, but we'll have to check and see if our multiplier will then start at, like, I guess in theory 60, and it'll keep adding up as we get higher high scores. So again, we do want to shoot for greater high scores because that's where most of our points are coming from. And on that given run, a lot more of our points will be coming from the hits because... <laughs> Right, it's taking into account both the left and the right gear, which I don't think I'm recording my mouse, so that might be, you know, kind of lame for you guys, but at the same time, you probably don't want to see my mouse. So either way, up in the top right there, you can see we've got high score, which, whoa, it got stuck up. That was interesting. Can we fling it? See what I'm saying? Like, I just don't get the physics here. <laughs> I can never make it do what I want. We do have 3,000, which is not quite enough for anything crazy, and there we, these keep getting stuck up. Interesting. <clears throat> I kind of want the game to just, like, do... It'd be fun if in 
the future we can maybe edit the board you know get more stuff like that i really don't know how deep this goes i just love these types of games especially for wasting time you know it's just like a great thing to do and i'm sure a lot of you guys agree i mean it all started with like cookie clicker back in the day but Okay, so you are now ready to cash out your game for tickets. Reset your points and upgrades for tickets to buy powerful upgrades. So again, this is prestige. Do so now or wait. We're going to do it now <clears throat> just because in theory it'll speed things up and maybe I can get more done within a reasonable video time, right? Requires at least 10 tickets. Converts at... Wow, the, <laughs> the square... The cube root of earned points divided by 7? <laughs> I don't even know. Would you like to cash out for 10 tickets and reset upgrade points? Sweet. So we can triple our points just right there and obviously this right one really just keeps getting stuck that's crazy i don't know why it's always that one i'm gonna have to try and you know actually try here but let's catch that i don't remember how many points the early things were but we'll see really quickly here so we can actually afford now to get this um plus 20 percent to our score which is nice what we really want are the the this so obviously it's per high score right so that's already good that we're at 13 now, but it's going to keep adding up, you guys. You'll see. You'll see very soon how big it will get. That's what she said. I don't regret saying that, but I'm also not necessarily proud. Okay, left and right keys, guys. Left and right keys are the bumpers. We are officially gaming. All I had to do was maybe use 2% of my brain power to realize that that might be the case. And now we are like, it's going down. I'm seriously yelling timber right now. Like, you guys better move. You better, what did she say, dance? I don't know. Come on. Keep it, okay, and then we lost it. I want to get rid of these holes right here where it keeps falling through, but first of all, let's do that, and then we'll get just enough points here, hopefully, to grab the next one. Oh, I lost my keys. I couldn't even find where they were behind my mic before I, <laughs> before I even got anything done there. Um, wow, a lot better already now that we actually have control over it, mind you. Like, when I'm sitting here using my mouse and those buttons, that was just awful. So, we do want to get, because right now, in theory, our hits is stacking on top of our high score. Each of those is giving us plus 20%. So, every five is giving us another 100% um, bonus, which basically multiplies it one more time. You guys know what I'm saying. We got a bunch of points now, so let's double them. We're starting at um, 38, and if we can get a higher high score, that will keep going up as well. So, let's see if we can't do that. Okay, and we do have another option for an upgrade here. I kind of was just letting it go for a second. Okay, so we get to pick. Do we add 40%? So we're going to double it, or I, is it an additional times four? I'm not sure. Let's do that for starters, because look, we can immediately get the other one now. <laughs> so we are at 500. So this definitely, in terms of being incremental, you guys, this, this is like very incremental. We are already at almost 800 times, whereas with something like Cookie Clicker, it's definitely a lot more slow burn, which I appreciate. Um, as you can see on the left there, there's like, like, it's, um, it's not super the most fleshed out thing, right? This isn't, uh, a triple A experience, but I like the idea. Obviously it, it does go in hand really well to have like a pinball machine. It's a concept everyone's aware of and how it stacks with this whole incremental thing. You can pretty much turn anything into an incremental game because any action can give you points. And in theory, you know, that action, you can just like there's chopping down a tree i'm sure there's petting a cat incremental where if you pet the cat it gets hat like anything so you might as well take something that's already got some some weight behind it you know like pinballs aren't just the simplest concept and you can actually turn that into something pretty fun we do have another upgrade option here so we can double our points yet again and then soon we'll be able to get our current score multiplier up which isn't too crazy because i'm not doing too well mind you but once we get there i will see and you know maybe maybe we'll get some more tickets soon even Okay, and now we are just now getting to this next one. Obviously, there's not a ton of upgrades, so I don't want to not show you guys a bunch of them. Like, I, in theory, I mean, we'll prestige a bunch of times, right? But I want to show you guys most of what there is to offer, because if I skip even two upgrades, it seems like that's, what, 20% of a run that's gone there? So, because it looked like they're about 8 to, you know, like 9-ish, and that one obviously keeps stacking. And if you guys see, like, we're up there at the top. We're at 4,000... 4,200, oh, 4,400 from just getting 17 on there, which is just crazy. We're currently at 50k points. I don't see anything up there at the bottom that's lit up, especially. Okay, okay, so we can get tickets soon. Let's go ahead and do this. 
Let's get more points there. So our tickets, what does this want? We get 26 tickets. Converts, okay. I think we do it again. Wait, can we get anything for 26? No, actually. Let's wait for that to go up to, raises your current score. Let's wait for it to go to 50, I think. I think that'll be most, like the most worth our time. It might take a little bit. I'll keep an eye on it, but I want to get that up to 50 before we do it again, because then in theory, it'll be easier to get 30 again. I, that's kind of how I play these games, and leave it down in the comments if you guys like the small boosts over time, but I almost am more inclined, and I know it's not optimal, right? But I'm more inclined to wait and get something slightly bigger after a little while than to just go for a bunch of small ones. <laughs> And I know that the small ones make it easier to get the big... Like, I know it's not the way that you should do it. But for whatever reason, I just like when the number goes up faster. And I just completely whiff that there. Let's go ahead and double our points here. And really shortly, we'll be able to... Or sorry, 60%, then double it there. 5 million to get this one. It does seem like, in theory, the current score multiplier is better. Because you're not going to get as many high... Like, you're not going to get a higher score unless you do way better. 40 tickets there we are getting close to 50 once we're at 50 i might catch up with you guys again and uh you know we'll be cooking right we'll be cooking okay guys i'm gonna be real with you i actually went to go use the bathroom and i came back and we're already at 64 which is great um <laughs> 1.54 million points i'm curious what we could have got for that looks like maybe just a couple double points we might as well do it really quick it doesn't matter because we're immediately going to go ahead and do this confirm we want to use that so now we are up to the power of 1.2 which obviously is a much greater increase than what we had before it starts out super slow we're only at three right now but basically before we would have been i don't know probably one or two <laughs> like it would have been one point or two points per i don't know exactly how the math works out on like smaller levels but it'll become more obvious as we go up we're already to there and really guys like i said i just went to the bathroom really quickly and already <laughs> we're like way up there it is nice that I can see now on the top right there, we can see how many tickets we have at any given time, which I do appreciate because initially I could not tell. Um, I was clicking down without even looking like an idiot. But seriously, guys, if you like this type of game and you just want something nice and quick, because like I said, it, it, it's going, it's incrementing very quickly. And I can see how maybe later on, sometimes they do that just to drag you in. So I can't say for sure if the end game is... Um, is fast or slow or whatnot but yeah no i'm like pretty i'm pretty cool with what's going on here looks like we can already get some more upgrades here again it's this so we got to get to 500 for our double points one and as you can see it's going to keep stacking right wow it goes down multiplier zones whoa adds two times multiplier zones extra lives <laughs> so maybe you can go down through i was not expecting this by the way maybe you can go down through and your this your hits won't reset so like, what are these other things? Arcade ownership. In an effort to get more gamers involved in the parent company, the Arcane is running a promotion to exchange equity for tickets. 10 billion tickets. Okay, my bad. I'm over here selling this like it's some short thing. I think the fact that nothing's changed on our board, you know? Maybe if we had gotten a few more pegs or something already, I would have been like, oh yeah, this is, this is the long run. So it seems super short, but if we look at this, guys, we can turn 300 fares into corporate, or 300 fares, 300 shares into corporate favors. <laughs> we can turn favors, like, at a certain formula frequency into investors, which is doing some crazy stuff. Eventually, we get to the pinball wizard himself, where <laughs> our investors times five log five. Dude, I don't even know what that means. Like, I do, but I, I <laughs> are you joking? Let's just for now, let's do two times points. You think? I think that's pretty good. We can see up there. I'm, I'm just going to let it keep running, by the way. We've got seven achievements here, which you can actually see our progress through all of them as well, which is nice. Looks like sacrifice for five plus pinball mana at once is probably the hardest one to get. I'm assuming it gets harder as you go down, considering I've got these. But yeah, so from what I can see, it's not like we're going to necessarily change the board. <laughs> also, am I seriously that stupid that I didn't read at the bottom there where it says arrow keys can be used to control flippers. I am wild, guys. You guys, you're probably like screaming. I, I hope it's down in the comments somewhere. I love, it's my favorite part of videos is going down. It's like, you did this and that was really foolish. I'm like, no, dude, seriously, I completely agree. <laughs> you think X was hard to watch once? I had to watch it like 18 times while I was editing. Like, I don't even want to talk about it. 
<laughs> I had to see my mistake over and over again. Hindsight? Yeah, no, it's a bitch. Trust me. Oh, we almost got a new high score. We are at 6,000 points right now. 10 tickets, not bad, which is obviously the minimum that we need in order to do stuff. Let's get our high score multiplier up because that's going to be a nice base. I feel like with pinball, one reason why I just never really got it, right? Because there's, there's probably a thing where if you hit it so many times, like you want to hit it right on the end, right? But then it kind of diverts it towards the middle. And I've noticed that when I get the most hits on it, it always ends up dropping straight back down, like in the middle. So I wonder if that's some oversight. Are there any professional like pinballers out there like, where you could just like overshadow the hell out of me and be like, well, actually, if you use this much torque force on the right ball, the right the right paddle correctly then you will get a 9.5 times multiplier if you're a pinball wizard uh drop it down in the comments below i want to know all your knowledge i want to come back and like high score 1.5 billion you know i i have the drive for it i just don't have the ability i feel like deku you know what i'm saying <laughs> where can somebody give me the 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 one for ball <laughs> make me a make me a pinball hero God, that's so stupid. If you if it wasn't apparent, I recently started up my hero again with my fiance because she actually wasn't too, she didn't watch too much anime or stuff like that before we got together. But she's always been like she she likes pop culture stuff, you know. She was super into Star Wars, but hadn't experienced much anime. So I'm kind of like, hey, you know, let me show you my side of the, the nerd world, and that's the one that I decided on one time when we were bored because I haven't actually kept up with my heroes since I think when the overhaul arc when that came out i watched like two episodes my when i say came out i mean in the anime because back then especially i didn't really read the manga as much i didn't have the um <laughs> the ability to to get them but back when the overhaul anime arc came out was when i first basically dropped it because i don't i don't actually know why it could have just been a time in my life i was a lot younger back then like i mean <laughs> my hero is one of those ones where it's crazy because it feels like it's been like such a pop thing it is dying down a little bit now but i look at it and it came out in like 2018 which is wild because it feels like it was so recent and here we are six years ago that that came out i believe the anime mind you i, I actually don't know when the manga came out it's just when i look it up it shows me the anime release 2018 crazy so let's see what other upgrades we can get but you know that's i guess that would be one question i have for you guys down in the comments is like what type of shows do you watch you know do you guys do you think i know there's a big um region of the internet that thinks my hero is super cringy kind of like it's the i don't know if it necessarily takes the same role as naruto did back in the day where the mc is like i'm gonna save you at any cost i'm gonna save your soul i'm just gonna like talk no jutsu you remember when that was a thing <laughs> when everybody every villain just got destroyed by talk no jutsu because all that would happen is he would talk them down into all this, you know, this BS. I do remember that. Ooh, for 25 tickets, we can get multiplier zones, guys. I didn't realize that was so cheap. Oh, and there they go. Awesome. So I wonder, if does that increase our multiplier if we go through it? Come on, do it. Do it. No, it didn't happen. Let's see. Nine. Maybe we can only proc them once per. But we do already have plenty of points. Like, this is, it's starting to get going now. I wish I would have saw that we could have got those sooner. But yeah, what was I even saying? Oh yeah, so I feel like My Hero was kind of considered like the, not the childish one, but more like the poppy, like, oh yeah, flashy, bright colors, and and Deku, he's crying all the time, and all that crap, and I, I do actually know that the author recently has tried to make it a lot darker, has he not? Like, I've seen some of the scenes from the more recent chapters, which I believe 421 is the one coming out as I say this, so it's like in a couple weeks here. Um, so that'll be interesting. I, I do believe it's not doing as well in Japan because of that, but, you know, Americans were just, like, total edgelords, so it's kind of awesome, right? But, yeah, I, I've been into that one recently just because it's, I kind of have, like, you know how everyone's got their two-week Minecraft binge? I've got something going on like that, where I've got, um, <laughs> I will hate something until I absolutely love it, and then I will keep doing it until I can't stand it anymore. It's not good. Like, mentally, it's it's horrific. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it for anybody. Spe like, it's so hard for me to play games because I'll be like, oh, I love this. And then a thousand hours later, I haven't played The Binding of Isaac in, like, a year, right? Which, as you saw in my previous video, if you, you know, didn't catch that, was a video of Isaac where I'm just kind of getting back into it because I haven't, you know, it hasn't been my stim. That's not what stimulates me lately. 
So right now it's My Hero, and I'm back into that kind of binge. Um, but I do watch a lot of shows like that. I pretty much, you know, I'm pretty kosher with all of them. I remember back in the day, one of the first ones that one of my friends got me into was Fairy Tale. And now looking back, my thoughts are, wow, <laughs> Fairy Tale is so hard to watch in this day and age. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I feel like especially that show, because I tried to pick up, when I say like back in the day, like sixth grade was when someone was like, oh, you should watch Fairy Tale. So I, I watched it up until, I don't remember the guy's name. There's like a blue haired guy and, and it was um, at Urza. Is that the girl, the red haired girl? It was like her boyfriend or something. <laughs> Fairy Tale stands, don't come at me. But th there was like a tower that they were in or something like that. I don't remember. That, no, that wasn't where I left off. Actually, I think they were facing off against like a walking, moving city. So if anyone can deduce what I'm saying there, if you're familiar, that was where I left off, right? So then like five, six years later, I come back. I'm like, I'm going to try and watch Fairy Tale. Awful. I could not do it. <laughs> and it could be, you know, like, let me know if that was just like a, I, I wasn't open-minded enough because I, I do struggle with that sometimes, but I just got back into it, thought, you know, I used to love this when I was a kid, and then I was like, oh, when I was a kid. <laughs> Some of the stuff was just so hard to watch, and it's like, you know, that's just how it's going to be, I think. We change, we get different interests. I can't really be upset about it. It's nice that I have that when I was younger, but that goes for a lot of things. Remember when we were just playing pinball, and I wasn't, like, getting into the existentialism of, of like, losing interest and stuff like that? I feel like Bo Burnham switching up between like comedy songs and depression all right 2.3 million by the way <laughs> i haven't been paying attention to that we've got 70 tickets it's definitely escalating so we're actually we are at a multiplier of 69,000. so each of our points is going to give us that much okay and we got that multiplier there come on hike it up i'm actually going to try and go for a high score here so let me let me see if i can like lock in and focus up here how is my score it's okay 109 tickets available we can't do anything there can't do anything there looks like pretty much we're, oh we could multiply it to triple which i guess why not because then we still have 32 left over and maybe we can do something like that in the future uh, we're already up to that much mind you so now we're starting at 76 <laughs> that goes up pretty quickly and let me see if i can buy some stuff before it drops Oop, let's hit the I don't know if I'm doing anything. I'm hitting the bumpers while it was in the background in hopes that I could save something. I don't think it did jack. But anyways, guys, uh, leave down in the comments. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to leave down your favorite show, be it anime or likewise. Um, if you're curious about me, one of my favorite non-anime shows, I used to love White Collar. If anyone's familiar, like, it's, <laughs> it was kind of the same thing. Another reason why I really like Death Note and stuff like that, I love watching intelligent people be intelligent. If you're not familiar with White Collar, it's basically like, you know, really good criminal. It's every cop show, right? Like, well, the really good criminal is on our side now. What's he going to do? It's crap like that. <laughs> you see it all the time. It's not new. But I think at the time it was. I feel like it came out in like 2012 or something. And I used to love that show, especially when I was a little bit younger. That was my favorite thing ever. And lately, I mean, we haven't had anything but Netflix and stuff like that. Like we were we went straight to streaming when that got popularized. My family did. Because it was just way cheaper, and we could actually, you know, I mean, it's better <laughs> than the old way of doing things. Like, you could watch what you wanted to when, I, I don't need to explain streaming to you guys, but that was just the way that it was for us. So, I never really watched much TV until I encountered that, and honestly, because I was such a YouTube kid, my attention span was awful back then. So, shows, it's not like I couldn't do it, but it, I just had no interest in doing it. I didn't want to watch shows for you know, an extended period of time that weren't really going to interest me that much. So I just didn't. And that's when I got to anime. You know, they're a little bit shorter. And obviously it's cooler. I mean, it's it's cooler shit happening. <laughs> if you're into drama and stuff like that, that's fine. But if you just want to watch like Big Punchy, that's just, that's what I was looking for. Especially, you know, when you're younger. So that was something that got, you know, that really caught my eye. And the, the flashy stuff would really interest me. Uh, back in the day, I think I used to like gosh there were so many that i would start and not finish which is so sad i did get all the way through naruto and i really oh almost got stuck there i really enjoyed gosh what did i like 
I love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That's one thing that's apparent. And and I, one of my favorite flips on the internet, and it it wasn't too bad, but I remember back in the day, everyone hated on JoJo's because I think it was such a breakout hit when it got over here, right? Like everyone loved it, so they loved to hate it in that regard, which was just like kind of hilarious. I mean, that's how people are, but it was just funny to me. Let's get an extra life here. But there's kind of been a flip where even though there's a lot of people who are outright about like, oh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fans are gay. There's been that upcry and it'll always be there. But now it's like every YouTuber you watch, you know, every video with pop culture, I mean like PewDiePie and all that, there will be there will be like a JoJo sound effect. <laughs> there's JoJo references in everything now. And it's just because it's so good, you guys. You just can't hate it. You know, it is a little it's a little um, homoerotic sometimes. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> What's the matter with that, right? Just a little fun. Just a little fun with the boys. <laughs> Digging myself into a corner with this one. But yeah, I've always loved JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Um, obviously, that came out a little bit later on. Not necessarily, but I do think like part one came out, I feel like, again, around 2012 when it got animated, which is a crazy delay from when it was, the manga came out, obviously. Like, that's, that's just a given. But I feel like it was around that time when it was animated. So... I didn't even realize that we were at the start here. I'm like, why are we getting so few points? But this is, guys, by the way, this game is basically just an excuse for me to talk now. I'm just going to tell you guys a story and you're going to listen. Well, I already forgot kind of what I was talking about. But yeah, JoJo's. <laughs> Back when, I feel like it really picked up around when like part, obviously part three was a big one because everybody loves part three. My favorite's probably four, uh, you know, so comment down below if you think I'm wrong or right about that because I will comment bait anything. It helps the YouTube algorithm, as you can tell, so you should just respond to everything I have to say. Every question I've asked, come on now. Like the video, do it. Do it. Anyways. <laughs> so, around part three and part four, I think when part five was airing was when I got into it, which was a little bit more recent. I don't know exactly. I want to say maybe like 2017, 2018? Part five was pretty recent in the grand scheme of things. Obviously, part six only just came out like a year ago. So that's great and then obviously i got i got into the whole thing i have not finished part six that was my previous stim as i'm gonna call it before my hero and i kind of fell off of it for a while there was a break where there was nothing that really interested me that much and life gets like that sometimes i mean sometimes it's not always like yeah i love this <laughs> it's nice to have something that you're super interested in but you know some days you just are in a slog and you're like trying to find something to keep you going yes. you know what i'm saying but <laughs> lately, like I said, it has been My Hero Academia. And I'm sure it won't be for long, right? Like in the next video, I could very well be talking about something else that I'm interested in. And obviously you're allowed to have multiple interests, but in terms of like your main focus, I don't, is anybody else like that? Am I weird for that? I've always wondered, like I, I, it is different. I know my fiance hates it. Cause she's like, hey, I want to finish part six. Why haven't we watched it in two weeks? And then I'm just like, ha ha ha. But what's that? What are you talking about? You must be foolish. <laughs> I have no I have no clue what that thing is. You're making it up. Just pretend I'm being gaslit. What a sentence. Pretend I'm being gaslit. That's like the ultimate Uno reverse. I'm sorry. <laughs> so back to Pinkramental, by the way. How's that been going? You guys have probably been paying more attention than I have. I'm sitting here like hitting bumper. Can we do it? Can we get a higher score? Oh, 33. I didn't even notice we got a high score of 35 in the past, by the way. Apparently we did. Uh, we can't get anything special right now, so let's just keep leveling up this stuff. 5 million, 50 million. Get a couple of those. We're kind of balling right now. Like, if we hit oh, right there, we've got a 1.3 million multiplier. Let's get that back up there. Gosh, we just keep throwing it in the side hole. That's tricky. This this is really tricky, you guys, because I keep telling myself, like, ah, oh, I'm going to do pink reminds. That game's got to be short. It's going to be a quick little video, and it's not. Because here I am, still feeling like I need to do more. I was going to cut out so much and just talk every once in a while when cool stuff happened. And now I'm like, <laughs> you guys like anime? <laughs> you guys watch anime? You know what I'm just saying? <laughs> talk to me. Talk to me about anime, you guys, please. Please join the Discord. Talk to me about anime. I can go. I could go on and on. <laughs> no, not that that's a great thing, but I'm sure someone wants to hear it, right? Right? There's plenty of fish in the sea. Someone wants to hear about what I like to say. 
Tak. Okay, gonna go ahead and double our points a few more times here. Currently we're at 366 tickets. It's telling us we could afford something. Uh, we could afford triple points if we want to do. I kind of want to get to 1k. I do think we're kind of hitting the barrier for what I'm willing to do in terms of a time sink, <laughs> which it hasn't been too long, but you know, for what's reasonable in a video, if I wanted to get way far ahead, I would start yammering about something else, you know, just yap city. And then I would be like, well, I don't want to cut that out. And, and we just, it would keep going from there. So I think for the most part, I'm going to get a little bit further, but Honestly, I do want to encourage you guys to go ahead and check this game out yourselves if it is something that you find interesting. Like I said, it is free. Uh, not a demo this time, by the way. Actually free. I don't have to be that clickbait guy where I'm like, this, you know, this free, <coughs> this free demo is super interesting. <laughs> it's just an actual free game. And because of that, it is a little bit simpler, right? But anything helps, especially like I'm assuming this is a smaller developer. I, there was some stuff that popped up at the beginning that I missed, but you know, check it out guys to help the, help the homie out. And while you're down there, we got another achievement. Move paddles 1000 times. If only I'd known, <laughs> but while you guys are down there, um, in the description where the steam page to this will be linked, feel free to also, like I said, check out my discord because I'd love to chat with you guys about, um, anything, games, anime, anything that interests you. I'd love to hear about it. Also, please, if you enjoyed, like the video. If you didn't, obviously give it a dislike because I appreciate your opinion either way. I'd love to grow in, you know, more ways than one. So go ahead and do that. Subscribe, ring the notification bell if that's something that you'd like to do, you know, if you enjoyed my content. And honestly, guys, I can't think of a single other thing to say.